Well, welcome back to Revamped Outdoors. My name is Elliot. Glad to see you're here. As you can see, lately I've been working on some duck calls. Uh, I had a few failures there. Uh, quite a few, actually. But you don't know success until you fail. And apparently fail like a hundred times. But we got it worked out so far. This is a 3D printed duck call. Um, everything is printed except the reed material. The reed material is what vibrates on the inside of the soundboard. I will show you what the parts of a duck call are. This is the barrel. That's what that's referred to. That's where all the concentration of air comes through to the center towards the reed and the soundboard. That's the barrel. Then we have a reed. This is reed material. I don't know what thickness this is. This is reed material is actually from an echo replacement reed kit. You get six reeds in here two top reeds and three bottom reeds for a double reed uh, call. Get this for about six bucks. I got it on eBay. I'll try and find a link for this and something, or you can just search echo re replacement reeds. You get like the three sets for three calls for like six bucks. So pretty affordable. If you don't have that, you can always get mylar material. This is just a uh, 10 mil mylar. You can get this from your Joanne's neck craft. You can get this from Joanne's fabrics michaels anything local in your area area it's known as quilting stencil material quite a few times so uh this is a 10 mil that's kind of how i like to use for for this call at least is a 10 mil mylar it's pretty common you can find it everywhere a lot of the time if you're going to cut your own reeds i just put it on the soundboard this is called the soundboard the reed vibrates on this comes out just pretty much like any other woodwind instrument so the better your soundboard the flatter and cleaner this edge is the better so i always hit that with just a little bit of uh, 100 grit, grit sandpaper you could hit that with even smaller grit if you wanted to make it even finer but for me just knocking those layer lines down seems to help the call out quite a bit but i'll put my soundboard flat on some mylar i'll sketch around here with a sharpie just get the profile of the soundboard I'll cut about a millimeter inside of that line, and then that's my new reed that I can tune the call with. The longer the reed, the easier it is to blow. The deeper the voice is on the call. The shorter the reed is, the more air it needs to vibrate, but the higher pitch it has. So you can dog ear the sides of the reed, similar to this reed here. You can see the edges right here are cut at about a 45. That gives it a little bit of a rasp to it. So um, you got to play around with that a little bit. You can get a whole sheet of mylar from your local hobby store for like, you know, two bucks for an eight and a half by 11. So you can make tons of reeds. You got to want to try and tinker around with these kind of things if you're making your own duck calls to tune them up. Uh, it's a rewarding experience, though, when you do finally get that sound that really sounds like a duck. So for the soundboard on this printed call, I have made the wedge. This is what this is commonly re referred to. It holds in the reed material. I made the wedge have just about a 0.2 millimeter inset in the top. So that'll match up with some threads there. Your reed material can go until it stops on that edge. And then you want to center that up inside the soundboard. And then you just screw the barrel in. This is a little bit of a different design than most calls. Most calls have uh, either a friction fit with a wedge. This is called a real foot design. This is similar to duck commander calls. I really like duck commander, commander calls. I think they sound really, really close to real ducks. Um, so I figured for my first duck call project, I would try and uh, model it up. Didn't quite work as you could see in the intro, but um, they have these real foot uh friction fits so you have a wedge in there that frictions in i've actually had duck commander calls out in the field because all you have is a lanyard on this little keep here they end up coming apart like that you lose your reed down into the marsh and then what good is that what good is that i got no reed so i decided to design mine up with an actual um screw in inset so it stays inside so I printed this on the ANET A8 and PLA, 
0.1 millimeter layer lines. Actually, on the ANET, I prefer a factor of four, so it's 0.08 millimeter layer lines, uh, layer height. I like to print those because you're going to have to sand that soundboard flat anyway. It saves you a little bit of time. Uh, and it also gives you a really nice smooth finish. Uh, you can print this in 0.2 millimeter layer lines, but remember, you got to knock those layer lines off the soundboard to get the best sound. So I will throw this out on Thingiverse, and uh, if you want to download it, go ahead and uh, give it a whirl. See how it goes. Pretty easy call to blow. Um, similar to other acrylic sounds, not quite as deep as a wooden call. But this acrylic's very high pitch, so I think it sounds pretty good, especially for a first attempt at everything. Uh, I called it the Parthenope. Uh, which is an old siren from the Odyssey, you know, with Homer. Um, little fun fact, Naples still consider themselves Parthenopens because of that area. So uh, the sirens would call in sailors, right, and they would crash on the rocks. So I thought it was kind of fitting that a, a female hen mallard, which we're trying to replicate, is calling in drakes to their death. So I thought it was kind of fitting, and it was kind of the most famous siren name I could think of, so... Yeah, I'll post it on Thingiverse. Let me know how it rolls. If you're not subscribed already, maybe uh, consider it. Possibly give the video a like. Because YouTube loves not showing anybody's video unless they're like mega uber YouTube stars. And I ain't that. But uh, yeah, so if you do subscribe, leave a comment down below if you want to see some more uh, 3D printed outdoor related items. If you have any ideas, leave them down there. Love to do them. Till the next one, keep your amps up and your filament dry. You know how I know I got tons of fans? They follow me everywhere.